farming. I hated spreading top dressing, manure, dung, and I was young. Farming's not for everyone. I could cock hay all day, shank butts and rake and tent and turn. I loved to burn bushes too, and winds. And father, father was okay. Run off out through the fields with a back load of hay or bales. Race the brother up Killern Hill, two bales apiece. Sink into your horse in daub and blue clay. The tramped ground weeping, the silver king seeping. Killern's tears all mush and sorrow. Ploughing through gaps and collapsed drains, the outlying farm that never quite got reclaimed, the good intentions shamed with cow tracks and winds and scrub and briars and rushes, only good to burn. That was our song, me and the brother. He was older and hardier, but I was thick. A big thick head that you couldn't bait with a big stick. It's hard to bait being thick, so Mammy said, and she'd know. And for the record, I hated farm. Especially spreading dung, no fun. But in the spring of every year, that was our altar. Me and the brother in a small field of top dressing and a bottle of lukewarm water with traces of my waddy and milk and tea and salad cream. We used the same bottle for everything. I'm not sure what it was used for first, but that's what we had to quench our thirst. The bring the bottle bottle. Not like the blue bottle partying in the poo. The heaps of moose decaying poo on a bed of drumland clay. Garnish with poached blue bottle egg and slime, all delivered with the 135 and the link box, the homemade pull up tailboard, a contraption before its time, the old fella, the inventor of labour saving devices. Except when it came to spreading dung, no, that was done by hand because we had wet land, and spreading dung with the grape helps teenage boys grow. You can't reap if you don't sow, and although we didn't sow, we kept spreading the manure. The Leitra man's version of mass. Not sure if it's doing any good, but keep doing it all the same. In this field we pray and prance about with slightly soiled farmyard compost. Exercise. Our bread of life. Feed the land back to itself, like eating your own arm. Please God, help this farm perpetuate and live on. But when we're gone, we're gone. To just decay without a say. Another fertiliser nest, not God at his best. But God, aren't we blessed with this good weather? And the dung's all out, and the cows'll be out soon too. Although I don't know what they'll eat. Maybe they could eat the dung. That's enough from you, my son. Our forefathers died for this land. We must manure it, coax it to open wide, and swallow us up too. And as the bottle of lukewarm water cools, in that small field with two fools and the setting sun, the brothers meet, the work complete, the mounds of dung all return to beneath their feet. This as close as ever they'll be, me and my brother in the top field, with blistered hands and charred knees. You can have the land, my friend. I look elsewhere for my rainbow's end. Not easy to be found, but there's easier ways of falling down. You take the thorny crown. And I'll take my leave and begin my search. You look after the rood and perch, the small hole in the home place, the land of our father's birth. You're the better man, to be fair. And I left my brother standing there, farming.